no. It's raining today. That means I must break my dry fest if I want to go outside. Well, if I have to break my fest to go outside, I'll just take a shower anyway. Why? Why? God, why? So, every morning, I have, like you saw, my calming morning routine with looking at my beautiful environment and taking, uh, and I always like to put on clothes that still allow my body to breathe, but at the same time protect me from the elements because in the air there can be moisture that will stop my detox. And in the morning, I always like to have a good liter of air. Now only the best quality of air will do, so you will have to make sure that you catch the right swig of air. If there's anything else in there, you have to air that out. Drinking this can be hard because you have to time it right. <laughs> I spill a little bit. Always oh, these ridiculous signs here. Unbelievable. Now usually I don't exercise because exercising stops detox. It stops everything dead in its tracks. It creates lactic acids, all kinds of metabolic byproducts. That's acids, it actually acidifies your body. Now today is a Sunday, so we will be safe because everything will be closed. That's very important so you won't break your detox because if you smell it, you eat it. If you smell it and eat it, you stop your detox. Very important, now, we're safe here, everything is closed. Always have to be strategic. Okay, so normally I try to stay away from the ocean as much as possible because salt is dangerous. Salt kills. But in this way I think we're safe because the wind is actually the other direction, but you never can be too, too safe, I guess. Yeah. They always try to lure you in this way. If you go to a bar, people, you will not take care of your temple. This is deception. Satan. All right, we switch back to the breathing but protecting clothing. Now that my morning routine is done, and that I have actually tried to make the most out of it, of course, you know, it didn't go as planned, but okay, no nervous breakdown right now, we'll get to that later. So now that my morning routine is done, it is very important to unload the emotional detox as well, because when there's physical cleansing, there is emotional cleansing, you know? The emotional baggage, the depths that come with it when you, when you detox. So I'm going to write in my diary to get rid of that. Dear Diary, today I'm very much still conflicted about my detoxification efforts. As I confided with you yesterday, I was actually tempted to not buy my daily 500 grams of strawberries, but instead I wanted to buy bananas. I was disgusted by myself for having such anti-detoxification thoughts. Luckily I could prevent this destructive behavior by relying on my iron wheel to cleanse myself of all impurities. However, <laughs> later in on the day, I did feel the cause. I bought some lettuce and, and I touched it. As you know, dear diary, anything that is green stops detoxification. Please forgive me. Please. Now that we have those important things behind us, it's time to make sure that our social environment also understands our detox and actually supports our detox and starts detoxing themselves. This is key. Without support, your detox is dead for. Hello, family and friends. Today I'm recording another video for you. Yes, for you, because you are important to me. You have to understand that whatever you're doing right now is killing you. And if you do so, you are killing my detox. I love you, but you're dead. Hello, bonsai tree. I know you are the only one who understands and supports me and joins me. This once a week giving you water is really working, isn't it? You're detoxing. Now that I have my social circle under control and I'm supported, it's time to meditate. Because when you set your intentions, you can release more. You're opening yourself up for more detoxification, cleansing, and deeper regeneration. Today is the day of days. Detox is a pathway to many abilities, some consider to be unnatural. You listen to me, body. If you are not with me, then you are my enemy. Detox we must, detox we will, whether you like it or not. <laughs>
since the day has been such a catastrophe, I will indulge in some junk food. Now, normally I am against any form of, of processing because if you use a machine to process, it's a sign that your brain is actually congesting instead of detoxing. But you know, today, to hell with it. Okay, I think you get the point by now, right? These are all jokes, these are all over-exaggerations. But in every single one of them, there is a bit of truth. And that's staggering. There is this detox mentality, there is this detox ideology, there is this detox mindset, detox uber alles. Detox is everything. If you're not detoxing, you're wasting your day. And it needs to be this extreme. Here it's not enough, it needs to be out there. More and more and more and more. Quicker, 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 faster, faster, faster. This usually makes people end up worse than they were before. And that's a shame because there's so many approaches out there that are far less extreme, that are far more enjoyable ride, and that will get you there too without you having to basically purge yourself. So let me show you what I'm actually talking about because God honest truth, like I see these people and they come to me too. You're suffering needlessly. So let me show you. So number one, assess what's going on in your body. Are you having any symptoms? If so, what organs or tissues or glands are they related to and how can you support them? This gives you a lot of insight on what you should do next. Secondly, give your body everything it needs. Give your body all the hydration, give your body all the calories, give your body all the nutrients so it can support itself in its detoxification tasks and you also have the energy and all the things you need to go about your day. So, eat enough fruit. Get all your calories in from fruit. Make sure you eat enough of it so that you have energy to do things, so that your body does have the energy. At the same time, fruit will clean you out, it will clean your bowels, etc. This will take some time, but it will help you clean and it will help you rehydrate. Then, of course, you need salads, you need vegetables, you need greens, etc. Because from the fruit nowadays in most places, you're not going to get everything you need. You're not going to get those vitamins, those minerals, those enzymes. Of course, there's places you can get it. Most people don't live there. So, salads, smoothies, juices, whatever. Same thing for the fruits. You can eat them whole, you can take a smoothie, you can do juices, whatever. Make sure you get in everything you need. Now, there's videos down below where I show you how to do this. What I eat in a day videos and how to structure all these things. So, go and watch that. Then, when you've done that and you're giving your body everything it needs, then it's time to start moving your body. You wanna move your blood, you wanna move your lymph. Anything can work here, like simple walking. Hiking, cycling, whatever. Lifting weights, lifting yourself, doesn't matter. But make sure that it is exercise that your body can handle. It's not too stressing. And if you can handle more, then do more. Now, a good way to move your blood around as well and move your lymph is the good old trampoline or bouncer, the rebounder. This will make it move, oh, make move everything. This is so important because this will help your body in cleaning and detoxifying. On top of this, you can add, for example, hot and cold showers. The heat pulls everything to the surface and the cold presses it down into the depths of the body. At the same time, you're shocking your body, so this is a good way to make everything loose and filter it up. This is also a good way, if you can't do exercises for whatever reason now, hot and cold showers are a great way to get filtration of your entire body in. Now, once you have this set up, it's time to look at those organs and things where you had symptoms of. Do I need to support anything? Well, this is good because then you can use herbs and herbal formulas. They are a great way to support specific organs when they are down or need support. They are also a great way for pulling things out of the body and making things move. So this is a great way for you to use it. But add it on top of your stable base, that thing that we just talked about, giving yourself everything you need and moving your fluids. On top of this, you can start adding your fasting, daily intermittent fasting, um, once a week, 24 hour fast, maybe you dry fast, maybe you just want to do a day of water or maybe just a day of juice. Whatever you do, here it's a great way to incorporate that and add it to your daily base. So what I just described worked for basically 90% or more than 90% of the people. This slow but steady approach that will clean you out, it will rehydrate you, will get rid of all the symptoms and the problems, but has longevity in mind, will work for 90 to 90% of the people or more than 90% of the people. However, sometimes you might be in a little bit more of a hurry. Why? You're having a lot of pain. You're having a lot of symptoms. You're not absorbing anything. You're as thin as a nail. It can't go on like this. It needs to come in the next few months. This is untolerable. It's not going this way. You don't have that much time. Well then, then the next step you go, a juice fast. A juice fast is a period where you drink nothing but freshly squeezed juices and you flush out that entire pipe system within three to four months. This is a very quick way to do it, while at the same time you're not purging yourself. You're not limiting yourself, you're giving yourself everything you need. You're rehydrating your entire body on a systemic and cellular level. You're giving yourself all the nutrition, you're giving yourself all the vitamins, the enzymes, the minerals. You're supporting your organs of elimination. And on top of this, you can add all these things that we just talked about. This is the highway to getting results in a sustainable way as well. 
it's a great way to do this. Now, if you have no idea how to do this or, you know, this is new to you, there's links down below. Complete guide to juice fasting and, of course, my juice fasting blueprint. It will tell you everything you need to know. Now, I coach people for a living through this and I know how much it changes you. It's it seriously is the quickest way. It's unbelievable how much people change. If you need guidance on this, there is a link down below as well. I have an entire program on this. Now, for some people, even that is not quick enough. They're in a hurry. Their, their time is running out, so it needs to be a little bit faster than that. Then the next thing you can look at is a water fast. A water fast is basically where you drink nothing but water for a prolonged period of time, usually about a month or a little longer. And this is basically the turbo version of juice fasting. What you can achieve in the 90 day juice fast, you probably can achieve in about 30 days of water fasting. But water fasting is very intense. And this is not something you can do unsupervised in my opinion. There's a lot of complications that can come with this. So this is best done supervised. Um, and this is also best done for people who are really, really in a spot. But the downside of this is that you will probably need to go to some of these clinics or these retreats to do it, which will take you away from your responsibilities or will take you away from basically doing anything because you're laying around there and just drinking water. If this is something that you need to do, obviously it's something you should consider. But for most people, um, if you have a job, if you need anything to do in your life, then a juice fast is probably the better way to go because you can still partake in life. You're getting calories and energy. So there you have it. A very simple, basic approach that almost everybody can use to get them where they want to be. And then the next level, a juice fast for people who are in more of a hurry. And then the next level above that for the small, small percentage of people who are in real trouble and need to have something happen in 30 days right now. Remember, the most steady approach is usually the approach that will give you results. Flying from one extreme to the other usually does not give you the results you want, but it does give you results, the experience that you don't want to experience. So having said that, that's about it. If you have any questions about this, let me know. Remember, links down below as well for you to learn more about it. There's even links down below for you to learn more about water fasting. All of these methods have their time and their place, but certain things are just more feasible in nowadays world. Having said that, I hope you're having a wonderful day. And remember, detox is like your friends with benefits. As soon as you start to indulge too much, the benefits will stop. Have a nice day.